so far high. Girl, you did not have to give it to her like this. Welcome back to another video. I know you guys have been wondering and you guys miss my videos. I personally, like I really, really miss doing these videos for y'all. I've been trying to do Vlogmas. I literally only posted one vlog for Vlogmas this month and it just hasn't been working out. So today you guys are going to get a makeup tutorial, okay? Because period. So as you can tell, I'm feeling a lot more better than what I was you know some days are still up and down for me but I am doing way better and I just want to thank everybody for checking in with me and all of the positivity that you guys wrote me on those videos uh, when I was talking about how I've been feeling I really appreciate you guys for uplifting me and you guys are the ones that keep me going and motivate me to just go for it and just keep going let's just get right into the video I think I want to do like a soft glam red lip and you guys know I, I, I don't do red lips like that I did do a red lip last year um I really love that red lip. Like, that was my favorite look with a red lip I've ever done. Uh, so, I think I'm going to do another one this year. But, it's going to be, of course, a little bit different. It is the holidays. So, I'm like, let me do something that I feel like can flow for this season. Like, this holiday spirit right now. Let me get into it. <laughs> I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Luminous Setting Mist first. I love the way that spray feels and smell. I really miss you guys. I really do. I, I feel so much better. I feel like I'm more into the spirit of doing my videos. Um, I missed just really connecting with you guys. We're going to do brows first today. The brows I'm taking is the Micro Brow Pencil. I'm deciding to do this because I feel like a pencil I've been using a lot of my pomade um, but that one is a little bit more like deep and I don't want to make my brows look too deep I want them to look more on the natural side as possible uh, not too dark but hopefully I don't I don't make it too dark that's why I'm using this pencil and I feel like this one uh, this is going to give me the look I'm going for so I'm going to take my L'Oreal infallible concealer I haven't used these on my brows in a while I've been using the Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way. So I'm going to take the shade Caramel. And I'm going to mix it with the shade Walnut. when I use that pomade I can't see my actual eyebrow hairs if that makes sense but when I use this pencil I can see my real it looks more like authentic if that makes sense um so that's the, another reason why I like using the pencil sometimes you know it just gives you two different looks um so that's the reason why I love using this pencil like sometimes I don't want my eyebrows to look like I just slapped a crayon on it or something like that even though you know it the way I do my brows it don't look like that but that ain't what I'm trying to give you know what I'm saying so not with the today's look we going with a soft glam with a nice five bold red lip okay
mad. I just thought about it. But Keisha Cole versus Ashanti. Like, I was really feeling some type of way because Ashanti had COVID. And I guess they was trying to figure out if, they, if she can do it from home. But I was really mad because I was looking forward to watching that. I'm like, girl, Ashanti, you knew. You knew you had COVID. Why? So all of a sudden, on the day of, like... You find out, oh, I'm sick or I have COVID. Like, I don't know. Maybe she did. But I'm just saying, like, that's just seem a little sketchy. If you ain't want to battle, if you want to do the verses with her, you, that's all you had to say. I mean, if, if you want to do it, that's all you had to say. I mean, because <laughs> why you just why you just do us like that? Because people was really getting themselves prepared to watch this. And... Uh-uh. Y'all gotta come up with something after she get better from this the COVID. Like y'all can't y'all gotta still have this versus for real. So I'ma just go ahead and finish this brow off camera and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. Okay, so my brows are snatched, honey. Y'all see that? That's that nice snatch right there. Okay. So now I'm taking um what I wanna take. I'm gonna go ahead and take my L'Oreal Infallible. The same concealer I did for my brows. And this one is in caramel. And I'm just going to top this all over my lid. What foundation am I doing? I didn't even take out my foundation. And I have not been wearing makeup, y'all, like that. I've been trying to get my skin a breather. It's getting better, y'all. It's good. I was talking. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you didn't watch my previous vlogs, my couple last videos. I've been talking about my little dark spots that I've been having yeah uh, and that just comes from like pimples and blackheads whiteheads and they turn dark and y'all know those take forever to go away I have been using the right products and y'all have been giving me some suggestions too on what to use so um, I just been trying to clear that up because everything else is pretty much clear. I took out this e.l.f. palette, but I don't know about these colors. This is the Earth and Ocean, and I took out my Revolution Makeup Revolution palette. I love this palette, y'all. This is like all year round palette. It has everything in here. If you're a freelance makeup artist, you do makeup. This will be super good for you. It's affordable, and the quality is good. Okay, so, you know what, you guys, I just took out my Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette, and I feel like this will go well with this look, because there's some very beautiful neutrals in here. Um, and then I like this one, too, so I'm just trying to figure out what will be best bet. I'm probably going to dip and dab in both. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, for my transition shade... I'm going to go in with a color in the Makeup Revolution palette first. Okay. And I think I want to go in with this shade. Right there. It looks pink on camera, I think. Did I look pink? It looks pink, but it's not. It's very uh, neutral. And it has like, it's like a brown, but it has like that hint of like orange almost. But... It's not going to be too much orange because I'm going to top another shade on top of it from this palette. So, let's just use this shade for a transition. And then, I'll show y'all the rest. I'm not going to set my lid with powder. I'm just going to go in with, I'm just going to go right in with the uh, product. to go over this with a more brown now I like this because it's giving me that nice color but then that that pop right like right up there but then I'm topping it over with the brown so you still gonna see this color it's just gonna make the eyes look so warm and and just just nice so I'm gonna top it over with a brown from this palette and it's called hive 
This is the uh, Urban Decay Honey Palette. And high is going on top. But I'm still making that orange, kind of brownish kind of color still visible too. hate this brush do you guys this is the same brush that came in my uh, Anastasia uh, eyeshadow palette I hate it like they they just gonna give you a terrible brush for a nice price that you pay for an eyeshadow palette like Urban Decay has an eyeshadow uh, palette Urban Decay comes with a brush in their eyeshadow palette too um, maybe this is better but honey every I mean like every time i get a palette from anastasia and they have a brush in their palette it's the worst like it's hard it's not soft it feels like you uh swiping wood on your lid like some hard wood like come on do better y'all ain't gotta do this like that okay so uh now i'm going to take fly by and sweets this is fly by it's a super cream it looks white but it's like a cream uh color and then this is a super neutral i'm going to mix both though because this is too light and then this this shade tones it down so that's what i'm going to place on top of the lid Urban Decay brush. This is my uh, first time using it and I like this side of the brush. This is really soft. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know what they was doing. <laughs> Trying to give us a brush. You just keep it. We don't need it. So now I'm going to take my uh, NYX matte liner and I'm, I am going to do a wing you guys. I think I'm going to make this uh, liner really bold so I might go in and just clean it up to make it look more crisp under there with my concealer, but crispy. Lashes are on. Uh, I know you guys are going to ask me what lashes I'm wearing. I don't even know. I wish I would have kept the pack because I have a whole bunch of lashes just in one pal. <laughs> and I've just been like wearing them over and over again. So these are kind of old and I don't know who these are from. But I know for a fact, I know. These are from somebody that sent me these in, the, in my my uh, P.O. box. So, I am so sorry. I do not know. Um, but lately, I have been letting you guys know who lashes I'm wearing. So, <laughs> I'm going to uh, use my Huda Beauty Foundation. And I have this in Cinnamon 440G. It's my shade. And before I do that, I am going to go ahead and put on my e.l.f. Clarifying Booster Drop. And I'm going to mix it in with my, do I want to do that? I'm, I'm just going to use the bo the clarifying booster drop. Just this. I lately been using the sun kissed one. But I think I just want to do the clarifying one. It makes my skin look so even and refreshed. So we're going to go for that one. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend all of this in together. Let me know uh, what's your favorite foundation right now at the moment. Y'all comment that down below. Let me know what y'all favorite foundation at the moment. I'd like to know so I can see what y'all like and see if I will try it out too.
my concealer, I'm going to mix in my uh, L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear and my Born This Way. So, I'm going to take this one first. This uh, shade is not as light as the Born This Way I'm going to use. So, I just like to keep a balance. So, use something that's dark first, darker, and then uh, make my way up to a light. And I'm only going to take the Born This Way under my eye but this I'm taking under my eye forehead bridge of my nose a little here and a little bit on my chin I'm gonna blend this out first then top this on so let me blend this one out first I'm now about to uh, put on the Born This Way, and I have this shade in Latte. So, like I said, this is just going right under my eye because it's lighter. And this is just going to brighten up this area like I want it to. So now I'm going to set my concealer with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep 30. So, my favorite go-to. And y'all, I don't want to put no makeup, no powder on my sweater, y'all. I love this sweater. And I have not taken my picture in this yet. So, I'm already, I'm already um, taking a big risk putting on my sweater while doing my makeup. Because y'all know how makeup can be super messy. So... do is I'll like you know dust this off and then start setting the remaining of my face but I think I'm gonna set it first and then wipe off this powder so I'm gonna just go right in and just set all over the rest of my face that I didn't set sweep that up so kind of just melts in all right okay we're gonna take this brush now it's time for contour I didn't even take my contour out okay let me see what I want to contour with. Alright y'all, so I'm going to contour with my Fenty Beauty. I think. Now I don't, normally I've been had this, uh, but I think I got this in a too deep. It's, this is the shade Coco Naughty. Um, so when I do use this, when I do, I use a little bit. Because this is like too deep to the point where it looked muddy on me. So, um... And we don't want our contour to look muddy. So, um, I'm only going to use a little bit. And usually when I do a dark, uh, a bold lip, I usually don't do too too much contour. Because I feel like, um, I just like when I do do something bold on my face. I kind of just like that to be like the center of all of the attention. So, just a little. Like the color is so rich. She don't need so much, too much of it. 
And I kind of like to use my contour. I like to go up on my contour to my cheek. So that it can just like, I don't know, it just does something to the face. also going to take the contour shade under my um, eye now just a little bit as for my blush y'all this is like the confusing part I just really kind of be picky when it comes down to my blush when I'm doing a colored lip so um, I think I want to use this blush in this palette right here I want to use this shade this is the morphe that's rich HR palette uh, I usually go in with this one for like a neutral look but since I'm doing a red lip I feel like this one right here is just gonna set it better it's more of like a mauve type of blush and it has a little shimmer in it and I think it's just gonna like balance with the red lip I'm going to take a little bit of that because this palette is super rich in color. You don't need that much. Y'all see? You see it. You see it. Oh, it's pretty. It's my, actually my first time using this, this one. And I like it. Yes, I like this. I'm going to start using this one. This blush more often. So that's it for blush. You don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe. This is the continuous mist. Okay. And for my highlight, I'm using my uh, go to Master Chrome. Put on the nose. Bridge of my nose. And you can't forget the inner corner of your eye. Your tear duct and I'm gonna put a little bit on my brow bone today and then forehead a bit and chin now this is the lip time okay Oh, I love how my my skin looks. It looks so good. God, I miss the club. Mm. Cause honey, <laughs> girl, tired of this. I don't know about y'all. I'm tired of this COVID. I'm going to take the Ruby Kisses Perfect Precision Precision Perfect Precision <laughs> Lip Liner in the color. Letty Rose. This is by Ruby Kisses. You can find this at a, your local beauty supply store. Alright y'all, this uh, lip liner is a really bright red. Well, it's not too bright, but it's kind of like on a... It's all type of different reds, which is crazy. But this is kind of like on the light, kind of bright red kind of thing. I, it kind of reminds me of like a candy apple red. I'm going to go in with my MAC Ruby Kisses. No, Ruby Woo. This is like a classic. <laughs> Classic MAC lip 
in red, okay? Um, I, w I could top it over with the Fenty. Love this Fenty one too. This is uh, uncensored. This is a matte liquid lip. I don't know. This kind of doing it for me. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. I feel like this is going to fuck up. Fuck it up. You got to wait for this to dry. Oh, whew. this is giving me holiday right now. I, I am loving this look. And oh my God, I have to flat iron this little part right here. Uh, I love how the colors I chose on my eye, whatever the color this, that I use as my transition is like, like just flowing with what I used for my blush. You see how it, that's just balancing right there? I know y'all see that. I feel so good. I just might go in there and make me a drink. So for high. Girl, you did not have to give it to her like this. This deep part is giving me a vibe too. I took those braids out because I was really tired of them. <laughs> I actually miss changing up. I'm so used to changing up my hairstyles. Like, I need a change. I feel like I need a change. So, if you re recreate this look, honey, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Uh, send it to me through uh dm or anything whatever you feel comfortable with but make sure when you post the picture tag me so that i can see it um i know sometimes i miss out on you guys mentioning me in your story but i do try my best to see everything i love you baby dolls i hope you all enjoyed look out for more videos like this and more um i'm glad i'm feeling a lot more better and thank you guys again for the good kind words i really love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you all in my next video